is going to be a fashion haul, and you guys seem to really like my fashion hauls. Um, I don't buy a lot of clothes, honestly. I am really picky about clothes. I don't like, I mean, I like clothes, but like, I'm really picky about what I buy and what I wear. I just am really weird about it, but I think I mentioned before that in the summer, I kind of cleared out basically my entire closet, so... I've been working on rebuilding it with things that I really honestly like and will wear and I won't put on and then take off and have to try six more things on. And I think I asked you guys in a video a long time ago if you wanted to see a video about completely just clearing out your closet and starting over. Um, and you guys said you wanted to see it, but I never filmed it, so I think I'm going to film that. Let me know in the comments if you guys are still interested in a video like that. I think it'd be really helpful because I feel so much better ever since I did it, but... Yeah, let me know if you guys are still interested in that, and I will actually do it this time. But anyways, let's just get started, because I do have quite a few things here accumulated. The very first thing I have is a new winter jacket, and it's not super fashionable. It's by Columbia. We have a Columbia outlet by us, and it's like a puffer jacket, but it's a really thin one. And it's got like, this is going to be so hard to see, I'm sorry. It's got like a slim cut to it. It's not like a boxy jacket. It's got a very nice feminine slim cut to it and it's got these like little um dots inside that keep you really warm if you guys have seen the ads I'm sure you have the next thing I have is from Charming Charlie's and I don't usually go in there and actually buy anything I don't like how overpriced stuff is but I ended up getting this necklace and it's like an emeraldy green kind of necklace I don't know how to explain it it's really simple but I really really loved the color for the holidays I think it'll be cute with like basic shirts and stuff like that so I plan on wearing this at like Christmas time or something with kind of like a button down, those half button down shirts that I really love. And I just think that it'll be like dressy enough but still casual because no one in my family really dresses up too, too fancy. So I thought this would be perfect and I think it was only like $8. It was either on sale or it was just a little bit cheaper than most of their necklaces are so I ended up getting this. And then I just have one thing from H&M and it is this sweater and it's got the drop shoulder with which I love and then the sleeves are kind of skinnier and then it's just kind of like a boxier sweater I guess and this was $20 and these are my absolute favorite sweaters. I have a black one of the exact same thing and I wear it all the time and I like that this one is dark gray because I feel more comfortable wearing it with black leggings. I feel like it looks better and you can put like a scarf over it or a necklace. I think I'm going to wear the green necklace um, over this. And then I bought two things at Gap. I love this thing. It's like, it looks like something I would make but I've been so busy I haven't had time to make myself scarves and I think I mentioned in a video that I wouldn't buy one but this was half off so it ended up only being $15 and it's just amazing quality it literally looks like handmade so I decided to get it and I've been wearing it all the time like too much probably but it's just so cozy and it smells like my perfume I also got this shirt from the Gap which is of course a popover button down so it only buttons halfway and it's this really nice light colored denim material I do have the sleeves cuffed because I have short arms and yeah it just goes down and it's really a flattering boxy fit if that makes sense and I've been wearing this a lot with the white scarf and it just looks really cute so yeah definitely a staple I got it in medium so it'd be like extra baggy the small fit perfectly fine but it's just a little shorter than this one this one was just a lot a bit longer so I thought that I'd get the longer one for leggings and stuff so if you guys see this I would recommend sizing up so it'll be long enough to wear with leggings. And then I have a few things from Forever 21. And I actually had a horrible incident at Forever 21. Their customer service is absolutely terrible. These will be my last purchases from Forever 21 for a long time. So anyways, I do like these pieces that I got, but will not be buying from there anymore. This I got on clearance for about $5. It's just a kind of sheer red peplum top, and it's got like a little like seam I don't know how to explain it and then it's got buttons down the back and I got this because I always want something like fancy and red to wear on Valentine's Day and I never have anything and since this was only five dollars I figured I would buy it and I really like it because the peplum hits in a nice place on me I'm really short so most peplum shirts end up sitting like the peplum sits like at my stomach instead of at my waist so it, they don't look very flattering like they're supposed to but this one is a very flattering cut so I really love it and I think it'll even be nice for like Christmas stuff because it is a really nice true red color. So I'm thinking about wearing either this for Christmas or something like that and then maybe also for Valentine's Day. But 
yeah, for only $5, I think it was a really good deal. This white top was also on clearance, and I think I ended up paying around $10 for it. And it's just white, and it's got all this beading on it, and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I was in love with all the beading and stuff, and I've worn this once already, and the beads, some of them kind of came loose, but I put some nail polish on the ends of the threads to help hold them in place and that seems to have worked really well like this beat's kind of coming off so I'm not going to be able to wash this shirt which sucks because it's white and it's going to get dirty so it's probably going to be something that I only can wear a few times I'll try washing it of course but I don't think it'll hold up honestly and the last thing I got from Forever 21 is this sweater and it's kind of like a dolman sleeve with like the tighter around the wrist which I think I mentioned I really like already and it's just an open sweater and it's kind of like an oatmeal color and it's like um like an open knit too and I really was looking for a sweater like this I got one from American Eagle and I ended up returning it because I didn't like it that much and I also ordered this one for from Forever 21 which is $20 so it was cheaper than the uh, American Eagle one and I liked it better it's not very soft but it's not like uncomfortably not soft if that makes sense and I think it just looks cute thrown over like other neutral colors I've been really liking wearing like all neutral colors and then like leggings or jeans or something I don't know I think it looks cute and it's a nice like staple to have and then the rest of this stuff is from American Eagle I kind of went through a phase where I didn't like anything from American Eagle but I started purchasing stuff again from there because they have amazing amazing clearance and then deals upon the clearance and it's just crazy how cheap you can get stuff so I'm gonna try to tell you guys the prices of everything I kept my receipt out so I could tell you the first thing I have is this basic white tank top and it's a high neck tank top which I really really like I don't know I just like high neck things sometimes so this tank top ended up being five dollars um it was on clearance and then all the clearance was an additional half off and then I had a 25 percent off like rewards coupon to use on top of that so this ended up being around five dollars which I thought was a pretty decent deal for a nice tank top the material is pretty nice quality it's a teeny tiny bit see-through but if you wear a tan bra with it it's like no problem I bought these flats which ended up being thirteen dollars and fifty cents and they're kind of wrenched around the toe and they're just kind of like a gold color they're a little like I don't know how to explain the texture of them but I don't know I just don't really have very many pairs of nice flats anymore. I used to have a lot of them, but I got rid of most of them because they were just worn out and kind of gross. And I wore a pair of silver ones last season, like, all the time. So I knew that I would get a lot of use out of these gold ones. I think they'll be nice for, like, holiday stuff and just even wearing to school with, like, more basic outfits to just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I like these a lot, and they fit nicely. They're really comfortable around my, like, toe area because this does stretch. And then I got three kind of more summery pieces because they were on super, super clearance and I knew I would wear them or want them if I saw them again next year, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. So I just went ahead and got them. The first thing I got was the High Rise Festival Shorties and these were super popular last year and I know they're going to be super popular again this summer because people just aren't over the high-waisted thing yet. And I got these a size bigger because I wanted them to be a little bit like suit looser I don't know I don't like when shorts are super tight they're just kind of uncomfortable guess how much I ended up paying for these things five dollars yeah and they're normally what like crazy it doesn't say on the tags they send you in the mail but I thought that was crazy I couldn't pass it up I know that I'll wear these next year and so I'm gonna keep them brand new obviously and I'll have a brand new pair of high-rise shorts for five bucks and I'm just pretty pleased with myself because that's like thrift store prices. The next kind of summary top I got is a crop top muscle tee with a kind of like American flag heart on it. This is only three dollars so again couldn't pass it out because I remember seeing this when it came out and I wanted it so badly for the 4th of July but I was not about to pay full price for this thing and every year I always see cute stuff come out around the 4th of July that I really want but I just don't want to spend a lot of money on it so I thought for three dollars I could keep this and wear it next summer and wear it next 4th of July and it would just be perfect with these shorts so I have basically a whole 4th of July outfit for next year for eight dollars just can't beat it you just you just can't and then the last thing I got is kind of summery but I could definitely work with it for like the fall and winter and it is this white eyelet peplum top and I tried this on in our local American Eagle store and it was the same actually it was cheaper online this was um $5.50 when I bought it but I really really liked how it fit so I decided to order it when I was ordering stuff online 
and I just really like it. I think it's cute and it's, you know, versatile. You can wear it in the summer, put a sweater over it for the winter. So that is everything fashion-wise that I've got recently. I'm sorry that I didn't do a try-on picture-in-picture. I always pretty much do that, but I am just not in the mood to try clothes on. My room is messy. I don't feel like cleaning out a spot to do it, honestly. And I plan on doing a winter lookbook. And a lot of these clothes are really summery anyway, so like it doesn't make sense. But I will definitely do it next time because everything will probably be more like season appropriate. But anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I always check out your guys' accounts when you do that, which I hope you guys know by now because I've been saying it as much as I remember to. But anyways, I love you all and I will see you in whatever my next video is. Bye everyone.